Okay, just turn that down a bit. Um, read the instructions on the ZX Vega. So let's um, really get into some gameplay, show you a few of the features. Uh, we'll come back and show you some more features. Um, but yeah, giving you the basic uh, run around on the machine, really. Uh, you can see this background music, a uh, bit of retro uh, kind of chip tune y sounds in the background, which is quite nice. Uh, let's uh, have a little look at Underworld. Press A to start. And off we go. And uh, like most of these games, you can really tell it's been quite a few years since I've played this. Because I'm bouncing around everywhere. Nice, uh, clean sound there. Okay, so if you want to get out of that, it's pretty easy. You just exit the game using the menu. And back into the main menu. Uh, save off, straight in. Press A to start. And here we go. A real classic here from Ultimate Play the Game. And again, you can see I haven't played this for a long time. I'm going to keep saying that because that's my excuse for looking pretty rubbish so let's just carry through and look at this it's a real like you know blast from the past in every way colors are pretty good uh, sound is very clear and I literally I think I'm gonna die in about two seconds yeah there you go game over I'll carry on and see how bad I really am let's just try and get out of this room There we go, get away. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, but you know, I mean, you're straight into playing the game, there's no like messing really. Uh, let's just go to another game, exit, and see what's there. And we're actually in um, arcade games, if you see there, A adventure game, just A button there, that flips between the two. And you've got SD card games, I've actually got an SD card. Uh, in the unit, uh, but I'll show you why I have that. Uh, not for games just yet, but uh, for something else. So flick through the games, have a little look. There's absolutely loads to choose from. Uh, Night Law there, Kong's Revenge, uh, Jetpack, Jack the Nipper. So a little girl of Jack the Nipper. I mean, you're straight in. There's no loading time at all. Nice little tune there from Gremlin Graphics. 1986, written by Greg Holmes, Odds and Ends by John Holmes. Straight into it. Up and Atom, there he is, little Jack. Oh, he's getting a bit of nappy rush there. Wow, pretty tricky, tricky. Let's just get him away from those nasties. Wow, it's pretty. Tough actually. I'm actually wondering if I'm even going to get out of this first room. Colours are very clear and the sound is immaculate, it's really good. I can kind of see the whole HD thing not required. Uh, composite is perfectly fine. Okay, I'm just going to come out of that now. Again, if I wanted to save the game, literally go there and press the A button and that's all done for me, let's just double check I did that right save game press A oh it's done, I mean it's pretty much you know you don't have to think about it and that's uh, the SD card thing I mentioned there there you go uh, let's just come out of that again so if you want to come out, I mean it's all the instructions but just press the M exit game and you're back out into the menu screen Nice little funky music back in there to uh, cheer you up. Uh, so many games, so many games, where do I start? Uh, yeah, I've obviously a really good go at this um, later down the line, but um, a bit of back to school for the classic there. I might just, if there's the option to put your name and stuff in, I might just flick through that. So I don't have to hang around too long. I mean, this is like childhood, obviously. Yeah, every way. Demo mode, this is. And we're straight into a bit of gameplay. 
This reminds me of like coming back from school and like watching Grange Hill and then you're kind of being naughty, hitting people and having a bit of fun writing on uh, chalkboards, rude messages and firing catapults, all the sort of things that kids kind of want to do really, beating up the school bully, beating up the uh, sweaty kids and uh, yeah, having a jolly good time actually. Uh, I'm sure whether you're English, American, Australian, Chinese, whatever, it's the kind of thing you want to do when you're 13, 14 years old and probably when you're a bit older just have a bit of fun. This is just a classic game. Um, obviously like, like the original there's kind of a bit of colour clash here and there, in fact it's not too bad. Uh, so knock him down. I don't know if I can actually pick up his catapult just yet. Oh, there you go. Hit my mate, has got 300 lines. It's pretty bad of me, I know. But uh, nobody saw me do that one, did they? This is just brilliant. You can play this for hours and hours. It's kind of your first GTA, I think, you know, of the 80s. Uh, this was kind of playing up, um, doing little tasks. Um, uh, it's not quite, I wouldn't say it's sandbox, but it's, you know, it's one of those games that you can either get involved and try and complete it or just literally sort of mosey around and uh, have a you know have a good sort of 20 minutes having a bit of fun really so I'm not going to play it for too much longer because um, you know you could play this for hours if you're not careful but yes yeah, into back to school right let's uh, just pop out of that now exit game again right so oh yeah I played that for a few minutes didn't really achieve much but I want to save it save game game is saved but no, straight out. So I'll come back and play that later if I want to. And let's have another little look around, see what's there. I might just go back into the old classic um, jet pack there. I mean, this is for me a bit like the arcades at home. It really was the first time that I felt there was a game that replicated the speed and uh, sound and the graphics as well of the arcade. This really was, you know, a classic uh, of its time. Um, so, you know, depends what you like, some people don't like arcade games, but there's a whole host of adventure games on this as well, uh, to enjoy, um, but as far as an arcade shooter, this really, you know, is up there with the best of them, and, you know, given the year this came out, you've got to imagine, you know, this game is over 30 years old, so, you know, you've got to give it its due, obviously, uh, some of the games of today, um, graphically are amazing, but I think this is a really good uh, game in terms of gameplay, it's very addictive, um, you should keep coming back for more and uh, once I probably get into this a bit more I should be able to clear quite a few screens at the moment just getting a handle on it. Now what I haven't really talked about is the buttons so you know there's going to be people out there saying oh you know you've got to play it on the keys or you've got to play it on the original joystick well as far as the keys are concerned they feel kind of the same now, the original rubber ones are slightly more fleshy, shall we say, but in terms of the actual button and the responsiveness, I'm getting the same feeling out of it. Also, I can kind of put this on my lap. Um, you couldn't really do that with the Spectrum, it would be wobbling around and it would probably crash as well. So it has an added advantage. Um, the D-pad works really nicely. Uh, I'm just really just giving it you completely honestly and telling you how you know I'm feeling it right now. Um, the joystick, uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to play uh, Jetpack with a joystick, for example. There are a lot of games which work pretty well with a joystick, but I can see the fact that it's got the D-pad, um, it's going to be pretty universal. So, yeah, really easy play, really easy, simple. I mean, it's a simple interface, if you like. I've got no complaints about it whatsoever. Um, yeah, sure, Sinclair, the kind of... That feels, you know, quite like the original plastic in some ways. Um, so again, you know, for me, that's a, you know, you've got to have that feel in there. Game over. So I'm just going to come out of there and exit again. Let's see what we can find. Now we'll do a full, proper, probably review of this um, in terms of many of the games on there. Also, what I haven't got is SD card games. I have the SD card in there for the same uh, for saving, but not the games. Um, so I'm going to take you through that in a separate video. Um, so this is just really an intro as we've got it today, just to take you through some of the basics uh, of the machine, give us our you know, first view and opinion of it, of it and um, leave it like that. So I'm just going to leave you a bit of the music and we'll come back with some more 
on the ZX Vega.